This lesson is on instinct and learned behavior and what the differences are between them. Now, I'm going to tell you uh, right from the start. By the way, this is Mr. Pearson, uh, in case you didn't know that. Uh, right from the start, instinct and learned behavior, those are both behavioral adaptations. It's something that the animal does. So we're going to learn the difference between an instinct and a learned behavior. All right, so the first one is instinct. And an instinct is a natural behavior that animals have when they are born. They don't have to be taught how to do them. Just like when you were born, one of the first things that you probably did was start to cry. Nobody had to teach you how to cry. Nobody came in and said, oh, now baby, things are different. Things are strange. Oh, there's lots of weird things going on. You should probably cry and make noise. Nobody taught you how to do that. That was an instinct. Animals have instincts as well, things that they know how to do without having to be taught. And some of those instincts include migration. We've already talked about migration. We said it's when you travel from one place a long distance to get to another place and you do it at a particular time of the year. But nobody has to teach the animals how to migrate. They just know when to do it and where to go and how to get there. Uh, another one is hibernation. We talked about that one as well. That's a long sleep that some animals do uh, when there's not a lot of resources, not a lot of food, uh, help them to survive in cold temperatures. Nobody has to tell them, okay, now it's time to hibernate. Nobody has to tell them how to do it. It's an instinct, something that they're born knowing how to do. Uh, another one is spinning a web. Nobody has to teach a spider how to spin a web. Uh, in Charlotte's Web, a great story about a, a pig named Wilbur and his friend Charlotte, who is a spider. Uh, she makes a bunch of words in her web, uh, but nobody had to teach her how to do that. She just knew how to. And another one is building a dam. Uh, beavers know how to build a dam. They don't have to go and take classes on how to do it. They don't have to see other animals. They just instinctively know, it's an instinct, how to build this dam. Now, the other one, the other behavioral adaptation is something called a learned behavior. And this is different than an instinct. A learned behavior is a behavior that an animal learns from observing others. They have to be taught how to do the activity. You might have a dog and maybe you sent your dog to obedience school and now they know how to sit and roll over. My dog doesn't know how to do those things. But maybe yours does. He didn't, he wasn't born knowing how to do them. He had to be taught. Those are learned behaviors. Uh, some examples of a learned behavior are bear cubs catching salmon. Bear cubs know that they're hungry, but they have to be taught how to go to the river, uh, how to know, uh, how to go when the salmon are running and jumping out of the water. They have to be taught all how to stick their face in the water and catch it with their mouth, all of those things. Another example, uh, lion cubs are taught by their mothers how to stalk a gazelle and other animals as prey so that they can have some food to eat. They, they, they learn from watching their mother. Their mother teaches them these things. Um, finding out that a bee stings. All right, that's not something you're born knowing. Uh, you have to learn, and sometimes you have to learn by being stung by a bee. It's not a lot of fun and using tools and utensils all right just like you had to be learned you had to be taught how to use a fork how to use a, a spoon and a knife and a pencil and a pair of scissors animals can also learn to use tools and utensils uh, sometimes you'll see you'll see uh, um, pr uh, primates particularly orangutans and chimpanzees and monkeys using sticks and other things as tools to help them get food. Uh, sometimes otters will take rocks and they'll, uh, by watching other otters do this, they'll take uh, the rock and they'll smash it on a, uh, on a uh, shell to get inside to get that. So, all right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a little quiz on instinct or learned behavior. So I'm gonna show you a couple on the screen and after each one, I want you to tell me if that is an instinct or a learned behavior. Okay, so the first one, squirrels gathering nuts. Is that an instinct 
or a learned behavior. All right, the second one, raccoon opening a trash can. Is that an instinct or a learned behavior? How about spinning a web? I think we talked about this one already, but is spinning a web an instinct or a learned behavior? And the next one, spinning a cocoon. Is that, if you're a caterpillar and you spin a cocoon, is that a learned behavior or is that an instinct? All right, let's review these real quick. Squirrels gathering nuts. Well, that's an instinct. Nobody has to teach them to do that. They they just know that they're supposed to gather nuts, particularly uh, as it gets closer to the winter time. A raccoon opening a trash can. Well, that's actually a learned behavior. Uh, raccoons aren't born knowing that trash cans are full of goodies for them, but they learn from uh, their parents. They learn from watching other raccoons uh, that if you tip over a trash can, there's all kinds of goodies in there for you. Uh, spinning a web. Yeah, we already said that that was uh, an instinct. And also spinning a cocoon. If you are a caterpillar, it is an instinct. Nobody has to teach you how and when to do it. All right, here's a couple more. Uh, again, tell me, is this an instinct or a learned behavior? Birds following a fishing boat. Is that an instinct or a learned behavior? How about birds going to the same bird feeder over and over again? Instinct or learned behavior? How about monkeys using a stick to get ants out of a hole? Is that an instinct or a learned behavior? And finally, a baby elephant mimicking sounds that they hear other elephants making. Is that an instinct or a learned behavior? All right, so let's review. I'm going to be honest, straight up honest. All four of these, birds following a fishing boat, birds going to the same feeder, a monkey using a stick to get ants out of a hole, um, and a baby elephant mimicking sounds, all four of those are learned behaviors. They're all activities that they have to be taught. So again, this was on instinct and learned behavior. Remember, an instinct is something that an animal is born knowing how to do, and a learned behavior is something that you have to be taught how to do. Just like you and I had to learn to tie our shoes and how to ride a bike if you know how to ride a bike, uh, how to use a fork when you eat your dinner. All of those are learned behaviors. Um, but we also have some instincts like crying and all of things like that. Um, smiling when we're happy. Nobody has to teach us how to do that. That's an instinct. So hopefully this was helpful to you. Uh, this is Mr. Pearson. We'll talk with you next time.